This is a press meeting by Minister Motegi. Minister, please. First, from my side, I have two points to mention. First, next week, I'm going to visit Central American and Caribbean countries. If the situation allows from the 15th to the 21st of July, I plan to visit the four Central American Caribbean countries uh, of Guatemala, Panama, Cuba, and Jamaica. For myself, since my last visit to Latin America in January this year, this will be my second visit to the Latin American countries. In total, I'll be visiting nine countries in Latin America and Central America, which is the largest in number among the foreign ministers. Of course, I'm not competing for the number of countries I visited. In this visit, I will be having meetings with foreign ministers and leaders of various countries. I will also be going to use online the several organizations in Central America, like Central American Integration System and Caribbean Community. I plan to make foreign minister meetings with member countries of these organizations using online to strengthen relations with this region. Central American Caribbean countries are traditionally friendly uh, countries and important partners. So we plan to confirm cooperation to strengthen economic relations with these countries and to maintain and strengthen free and open international order based on the rule of law. I also intend to have face-to-face -face exchange of views on global issues and regional situations, including COVID-19 and climate change. In Central America, also, there are unique issues as immigration. And the Central America region is an extremely important region for United States also. And also, there are many countries um, re uh, recognized by China or and uh, Taiwan, recognized in China and Taiwan. And they are very important in many regions. And also, in terms of cooperation on international basis, there are many countries in this region. So to strengthen cooperation with these countries, in the future, Japan, for Japan, in taking our measures in international arena, these are very important countries. The second item is with regards to responding to isolation and loneliness and related issues. There are many domestic measures to counter loneliness and isolation, but uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs would like to address the loneliness, isolation, and the related various issues of Japanese nationals residing overseas. Therefore, uh, we will be working with five domestic NPOs. These respective NPOs already have networks with overseas entities. So to be more concrete, we will be using the overseas travel safety webpage of uh, EMOFA, as well as the overseas diplomatic establishment webpage and the consular mails to introduce the five NPO groups that will be collaborating with MOFA to the Japanese nationals overseas. As a result, the overseas Japanese nationals will be able to consult directly via chat and SNS to these NPO groups. Also, with regards to the consultation made by the overseas Japanese nationals to the NPOs, some may be quite grave or urgent in character. Uh, in such a situation, there will be a communication line between the NPO groups and MOFA. Whether you are in Japan or overseas, but perhaps more acutely if you are in overseas, I think loneliness and isolation will be felt. 
more severely. And so we would like to listen uh, to the overseas Japanese nationals in case they are suffering from loneliness and isolation. Protecting uh, Japanese nationals abroad uh, with the spread of COVID-19, we have been supporting the uh, uh, return uh, to the uh, country. Uh, but the protection of uh, Japanese nationals is one of the most important responsibilities uh, of MOFA, and we will continue to provide fine-grained and meticulous uh, support for the protection of Japanese people overseas. With regards to the uh, details, please refer to the consulate office uh, for the overseas safety of Japanese nationals. If you have a question, please come up to the microphone, state your name and affiliation. Thank you. Any questions? No questions? Is there no? Uh, yes. Yes, there's also one question. Yes, Sugawata san, please. I'm Sugawata from Asahi Shimbun. The visit of foreign dignitaries to the Olympics, I have a question about it. The NOCs are inviting the dignitaries, but but then arrive to Japan. I think the Ministry of Foreign Affairs are uh, going to w receive them. And so what measures are going to take uh, for their arrival? Well, the dignitaries who come to Japan, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, will be uh, entertaining them and receiving them. But whether they are coming or not, it's up to their own judgment. So to where are we going to approach? And that is up to the organizer. This concludes today's press conference. Thank you very much.